it is hard to connect with yourself and your body initially if you're not used to it. If you're used to it, it's going to be quicker and easier. There's something powerful about your own ego. And your own ego will say, what is this bullshit? You see, the more you meditate, the less power your ego will have in your life. And your ego is not necessarily going to agree with this. You see how the ego can really be viewed as and treated as a separate entity within yourself. And as you do that, and you meditate, there will be ego-produced thoughts. And we know now that thoughts create feelings. So you will have thoughts and feelings that come from your ego that will persuade you not to meditate and have this kind of contact with yourself. So that's why I want us to repeat what we were doing so that we get into the practicing of doing the same thing. And now I've pointed out an awareness for you to choose that, yes, there may be thoughts that want to persuade you to not do this. One of them will be, this is so boring. But if it indeed, after time, force you out of your mind to spend time with yourself, then perhaps there's more to the whole puzzle uh, than just a resistance to meditation. So there's so much to examine within self. That's why time flies when we do this. And that's why I think that it's so much fun. So without further ado, I think